Welcome everyone, my name is Laís Boneto. I am here with Sharon Beltasar. We are both uh, students from the Master of Science program in Public Policy and Human Development at UNU Merit and Maastricht University. And today we're going to be talking about the Next Generation Leadership program and I'm really excited to get to know more about it. So my first question is, what is the program? Um, well, this is a program created by Kids to Advance that is uh, offered to students from the MPP, from our program, in order to develop uh, skills related to leadership, to get to know how are them, which are their talents, how they can apply it to the people, and how can they reach their goals. Um, it's a very interesting program. Uh, we are very few at the, <laughs> at the course. Um, and definitely the people that uh, teach us and the professors and the lecturers are very invested. You can see that they are really into um, sharing their knowledge and making, making us the best. So why, why did you join? To be honest, uh, when I came to to do the program, I wasn't thinking about joining any extra activities, mm -hmm. etc. And also, I had already done uh, leadership activities and also uh, other programs or courses. However, when I found out about the program and I saw what was the type of profile that they were looking for, I thought that it was resonating a lot with who I am and I said, okay, it's always, uh, it's always a good opportunity to learn more and, and I decided to apply. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so why do you think it is necessary for everyone to learn about leadership skills? Um, well, this is basically because I think that everyone can be a leader, everyone, doesn't matter if you are uh, extroverted, introverted, if you, for example, are more shy in front of the camera or not, <laughs> um, but in order to work with a group, in order to work with a team, maybe to be a policy advisor or work with a government, you need to work with, uh, with a lot of people. So definitely you need to know skills about how to manage it, how to interact with them, how to understand the others, and how to uh, work together in order to, to get a common goal. So how do you see yourself um, after the Next Generation Leadership Program concludes? How do you see you being connected still with that, uh, with this program in particular? I really am interested in doing global disaster management and work with crisis management. For example, uh, let's put an example what happened with COVID. And I really see myself uh, working, giving fast responses, uh, trying to um, yeah, trying to use the resources that, for example, a government can have in order to reduce and mitigate the risk and the and the hazard um, that individuals may receive. And so, in order to do that, I need to learn a lot of skills, not only technical skills but also emotional skills, in order to yeah to be able to reach the people, to work together, to be able to have and produce a coordinated response, and that the individuals that are at risk are able to feel a little bit more relieved. Okay, that's making me think, what are the tools and techniques that the program teaches you? Teaches you? Um, Mm -hmm. if, if you have any examples whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we are in the middle of the course, so we still have a lot to learn. But by now what we have learned is to identify which are the type of leadership that uh, there exist, which are the types of leadership that adapt most to a specific uh, situations because not with only one profile of leadership you can respond or answer to all the, the, the problems that, that may appear. Um, we're also learning how to meditate, which is something that it's very good. We actually take five minutes to relax, to be mindful, to know, um, to learn how to calm first our stress, to know ourselves, to manage first ourselves in order to be able to reflect that outside. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Do you see that there is a connection between uh, your master's specialization with mm -hmm. uh, the Next gener Generation Leadership Program? Definitely. Um, I am actually doing a free elective, so I am part of two specializations, the Risk and Vulnerability and Regional Integration and Multilevel Governance. And even though there are two different uh, specializations, I can directly try to link it because uh, the individuals that came here to this university, to the United Nations, uh, 
we really have a goal which is trying to apply policies trying to develop policies trying to create programs in order to help and contribute to the world so definitely doesn't matter which specialization you are in learning how to be a leader learning how to manage a group learning how to take the best of the other is is definitely helpful okay Oh my god, I feel like I want to join now. <laughs> um, so, well, I'm just thinking, of course, I, f I, ha I have a feeling that you would absolutely recommend the program for future students. Definitely. Is there any recommendations or suggestions that you would make uh, to them? Yes, um, one of the things um, that, I, that I see is that um, most of the people, at least the people that I know, think that to be a leader you need to be extroverted and you need to, you know, get rid of the shyness and everything. But as I said before, everyone is a leader. Everyone has a leader inside themselves. It's n not everyone is the same, but there's something inside that you need to keep working on. So um, I would recommend that don't don't limit yourself or don't try to, yeah. To, to, to put limits when you definitely can can grow and definitely can develop these skills. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, so I think we've covered most of our questions. Uh, I don't know if you have any other remarks or comments uh, before we conclude. What I would say uh, would be just to well, if you feel that um, there are other programs that resonate with you, take the opportunities that the, the United Nations University offers and this program in particular, because the Next Generation Leadership was one of the programs of the million programs and the million activities and workshops that the university tries to, to provide to the students. So just open yourself, jump and take the opportunity, take the most of it and I don't know, return go. <laughs> thank you, thank you Sharon so much and thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in our next post.